In this video, we are going to look at how to add videos to a web page using HTML code. In the previous video, I showed how to add audio to a web page using the audio tag. And for videos, it's actually quite similar. So to add a video, we start off by using the HTML5 video tag, which is this video. And then it has a matching closing tag. And in between these two uh, tags, we add the source tag to specify the uh, path and file name of the video file we'd like to use and the type of video file that we're using. So that's the source and then SRC equals. Inside the quotation marks, we'll add the path and file name. And then we also specify the type inside the uh, quotation marks there as well. So we've got a source attribute and a type attribute. Let's just close off that tag. Now, I've got a folder here, I've got my website folder, and in there I have a videos folder, and inside there I have a, a video called uh, video.mp4. So it's just a short uh, video file, uh, just goes for a few seconds, and it's the mp4 uh, format. So I'm going to specify the full, full path there, it was videos forward slash video.mp4, so videos is a folder, and within that folder, the file is video.mp4. Make sure it's spelt correctly and you include the file extension there. And for an mp4 file, um, we specify the type attribute. Um, we specify that as type, uh, sorry, video slash mp4. Now, different browsers accept different video formats. There's mp4, there's og, there's uh, webm. So depending on what video file type you're using, you'll need to change this here. So for example, if it's video.og, you need to change this to video slash og or ogg. If it was a webm file, uh, you change it to video slash webm. Uh, but I'm using the mp4 file, so um, type is this video slash mp4. And um, it's probably what I'd encourage you to use the most uh, is just the mp4 file type because that's probably gonna be the most compatible um, for different browsers on the web. Uh, and it's an easy format uh, to save or convert to, convert your um, video files to. So this is just an MP4 file. Uh, next up in the video tag, we can uh, add some extra bits of information here. So uh, firstly, we should have controls for the video so that it can play. Uh, so we can control the play. Uh, so we can play, pause, change the volume, skip, that kind of thing. So let's go and have a look at that in the browser now. We'll just open up that file in Chrome. And there we go. We've got the video here. We have full control so we can play it. Uh, we can drag back or forward. Uh, we can pause it. Uh, we can change the volume or mute it. Uh, go into full screen or um, go into picture and picture mode. That might depend on what browser you're using. So there we go, that's how to add the video. Uh, so we've got controls. We can also specify the width and the height. So we've got width and height attributes. Uh, now, my video is uh, 640 by 360 pixels. So if I save that and refresh, it should be the same size. But if I wanted to maybe um, shrink the width a bit, I could, you know, maybe make it a little bit more square uh, and it would look like that. So you can change the width and the height, um, but I'm going to use the original width and height. Uh, and if you do change the width and height, make sure that you ad adjust those values to maintain the aspect ratio, to, to maintain the proportions of the video so it's not stretched or warped. Okay, so we can add controls, we've done that. We can also add loop to make the video loop. All right, so if I play it, just go near the end of the video. Once it reaches the end, it starts uh, from the beginning again. So that's loop. And lastly, there is autoplay. However, if I save this and refresh, probably notice that uh, the web the, the video doesn't actually automatically play. We still have to use the controls. So on uh, newer versions of some browsers, 
auto playing videos is now blocked um, and that's just to present uh, prevent annoying or irritating videos from immediate immediately playing as soon as a user visits a web page so uh, you can still add the autoplay tag if you want but uh, a lot of new browsers uh, new versions of different browsers will block autoplay so um, I'm going to take that out I think it should be up to the user to choose when they want to play a video rather than um, it just automatically playing without their say. So got controls, you can also add a loop um, and that's basically how to add a video. One last thing is that if you want to make sure a message display is telling the user that the video can't play, if it can't play, you can just add that in the video tags here. So you can say something like your browser does not support the HTML5 video tag, upgrade your browser, something like that. So if I save and refresh, we won't actually see that here in the video, but if for some reason the video couldn't load, if the browser um, wasn't up to date and couldn't play the video, then it would display that message. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.